I'm Jeff Curlin. I work at Wapaka Foundry in Etowah, Tennessee. I've been with the company about 18 years and I'm an industrial engineer. I uh, go through and I gather all the data for costing each part that we make at the foundry. When I quote new work for a customer, the pattern engineer creates the tooling that we're going to run. Then it goes through the quality department and, and the metallurgy and they put in uh, what kind of quality standards we need to meet, what kind of alloys and uh, materials we're going to put in to make the part. And then when it gets to me, I look at how much iron I'm actually going to put in the mold. I may only need uh, one guy on the line. I may have uh, three or four people on it, depending on how fast the machine's actually running. I have to take into account how hard the people are working to get that part out in that time frame. If you don't have an accurate cost on your jobs that you're running out here, then you may end up losing money. When I do a time study, I, I look at uh, the, the total time it takes to make one cycle or process one part, and then I, I look at how hard are we working to, to maintain that time. From experience, I know what we can do out there. From the people on the floor, by talking to them, you know if you've actually got that job quoted right when they go to run it and if they can, they can meet that rate. When I do a time study, I take the video and then I review it in the, in the office so that I can rewind and replay different parts of it to uh, see exactly what they're doing and did I miss something when I was on the floor looking at it. And it also, for quality wise, that, that kind of helps the new people says, oh, that's what you meant by doing this task. Back in 96, I uh, was looking for a job that's closer to home. Packer Foundry was coming to town and I interviewed and I was one of the first employees at the Tell City, Indiana plant. I hired in at the core room as a production guy, quickly moved up to the service department and basically run the night shift and then uh, moved to the quality department. And then the opportunity came up to open a new plant in Etowah, Tennessee. Come down and look at the area. Uh, my wife and I love the area, a good school system. And I transferred down here as a uh, core room QC. And then they come and ask me if I was interested in uh, training for an industrial engineering job. I jumped into that and got my social degree. After you've been here a year, when you want to go move up in a the company, there is opportunities to work and go to school. If it applies to something that we have here at the Foundry, uh, Wapaka does have tuition reimbursement that will pay for your education. I'm continuing right now to go ahead and get a four-year degree in manufacturing technology. The math classes in high school really helped me out. Business math would probably be one of the biggest assets that helped me with a lot of things I do. I took drafting classes also. Those classes they offer in high school, before you get to college, it actually helps you get started in some jobs and maybe move up a little quicker. AutoCAD and uh, some beginning engineering classes help too. With everything else that I do, it's uh, the interaction with the people as far as finding out the problems on jobs. Because if they're not making money on a job, they're gonna let you know what's wrong with it. When you work hard, the people on the floor and the department heads, they see that. So the opportunity's there to move up in the company and just how hard you want to work for it. Once you get the foundry in your blood, it's, it's in there for life. Wapaka is a great place to work. This is where I plan on staying.